This tutorial will discuss how to filter a form using a query, or how to filter a report using a query, um, and through the query we will filter it through a form. And as confusing as that sounds, it looks like this. So we would have the same database that we used in our how to filter a form uh, tutorial, and we'll have a combo box. We'll be able to open up the combo box select criteria and then use the command button to generate a report. So this is our database at this moment. We have these three tables. Each table holds this information. And if we want to know all the details on a report according to what we want to use as far as client, the first step would be to build a query so we'll build a query with all three of these tables and let's say we want according to what you want to filter, say we want to filter client use client ID and client name, don't use just client name um, if we want to know client city, client state, we'll just throw all of these options in there And if we run this query, it'll give you all of this information. So this is all the information in our database. So if we open up this query again, and we know that all of our uh, information is generated when we run the query, if we want to filter now, we'll choose client ID to filter by. The best thing to do would be to create a blank form as we did in the other tutorial. Good design view. Select a command button. And a combo box. You want to select client client table is what we're going to be filtering by. You want to select client name and client ID. You can put it in whatever order you want to. It doesn't matter. Um, here you have the option to hide the key or to show the key. And all this will do is whenever you activate the combo box it will bring a drop down menu and these will be your two options. And save it under whatever name you want to in the database. So here's your combo box and the text box associated with it. And if we open up the properties tab and select the combo box only, you can go to other and see the name of the combo box, combo box one. And you're going to want to save this form. So this will be the name of our form. And from here, we can close out this report. And we can come down here to this query and filter client ID. But before we do this, the best thing to do would be to save the query. And to build a report on that query. So if we go to Create tab, and we go to report. There's a lot of different reporting options. Uh, we will just use whatever the basic report is. You can change any of these however you want them. This is just out of the box and we'll leave it out of the box for this. We'll just save it as report tutorial. So we can go ahead and close this out. We can go back to our form and what we'll do is we will go ahead and activate our combo box by going to build an event right click go to build event macro builder and this can also be accessed from the property sheet if you go to event these are all the areas that you can activate an event 
So if we select on click and the three dots, it will also give you this menu. Select macro builder, open report, select the report. We only have one. It will give you all the options in the entire database, so select whichever one you saved. Uh, we want to open it up in report view. Window mode, normal. You can also select dialog. Uh, we'll select normal for this one. Um, no filters, no wear conditions. Save. And remember that your combo box is named combo1. So if we save this and exit, we can go back and open up the query. Open into design view and we will filter through client ID. Now our client ID is stored in the combo box that we created on the report tutorial form. So if we go to forms, it should generate. If you tab over, put an exclamation point, it will carry you over to the next one. Select the form that you want and select combo one. So if we save this, and if we go down to our form, we'll be able to select test 2 or test 1, select the combo box, and you will see that it filtered out the report. So we have 1 instead of 2. You can take any of these fields out in a report and replace them or move them around however you need to. So the result, if we hadn't have filtered this report, would be both of these lines. So the report is generating on whatever the query results are. So if we save this and run this again, you'll see that both show up, don't matter what the actual drop down menu is showing. So you can select either one of these and it's still going to show the entire query. A good way to test your query whether it's connected to the correct combo box would be to leave the query open and leave your report open and if you run the query it will bring up the line. Now say we want to change this if you have a lot of options in your combo box if you go to a different option and return to the query if you press F5 on your keyboard press F5 it will reload the query showing the new results. So this is the correct results for test. Another thing if you do not have the report loaded and you go to open up the query it will show this box. Um, it's a searching under the criteria that you put in there. If the combo box isn't populated or isn't open it won't work. Uh, it's the same thing if you're trying to do the same thing with the form. If you open up the form, it won't open. So if you type anything in here, it won't open. So the best thing to do is make sure that you open the report beforehand and then open this up. Or just go straight to design view.